can't believe what Rudy just told you on the phone a few minutes ago. Neither can I. Two weeks ago, Mr. Willard comes in and tells us he has a good friend who wants to start a ministry like 7th Street Theater down in Florida, somewhere near Tampa. He wants to know if a few of us would go down for a couple of weeks and help him get started. Well, since Rudy and Andy have family there, they go and Seth goes along to help him. That leaves Kelly, you and me here to do the show. With a little help from the professor on the lights. Right. So while Rudy's setting up the lighting, Andy and Seth audition actors. Now they select some, but not all. We do two shows up here without them. Now Rudy is saying that he's coming back Monday, but Andy and Seth will be there for at least another couple of weeks, possibly prominently. Did Rudy say which way they're leaning? No, but he said Seth would be doing the lighting and Andy would be one of the actresses. Well, I could see why Andy might want to stay. I mean, she has family down there now. Yeah, and they do need Seth for the lighting. And since they're both single, why not move? This, if this happens, is unbelievable. That leaves only Kelly, you, and me here. And Rudy's coming back. Yeah, and Rudy. Wow. I can't believe Andy might be staying down there. <laughs> well, believe it, because it's true. Yeah, but she's got a house up here and a good job. A job she likes, I might add. But she does have family down there, and that could be a factor. Yeah, but I don't think she would move down there just for that. I don't know. OK, maybe. Well, maybe the theater just wants them there to help get things going, and they'll both come back. So let's not jump to conclusions. We'll just wait till Rudy gets back, and I'm sure we'll get the whole scoop from him. Yeah. In the meantime, we've got to do another show with just the three of us. Yeah. Well, we've used most of the scenes that we've done together for these last two. Well, I wrote something new last night for Kelly and me to do in the show this week. Well, that's good. I can start working on something. Yeah, me too. Well, looks like vacation is over. We're back at it again. Here you go, Kelly. This is the scene I wrote last night. Thanks, Gates. Kelly, a college student, approaches her professor. A college student. I like it. <laughs> well, you still look like a college student to me. Oh, Gates, you got quite away with the ladies. Well, what can I say? Anyhow, you look it over, and we'll run through it later on today. The theme is honesty, and I figure we could try to pull some other scenes that relate. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to write something new right now. Yeah, Travis is too. Rudy's due back this afternoon. It sure has been quiet around here without those guys. Yes, it has. But, as they say, the show must go on. Onward, Christian soldier. I hear you. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey Rudy. Rudy. Say, Rudy, how was your trip? Oh, it was good. It was good. Got to see everybody. No, my mom had everybody over to the house for a big meal. It was great. Well, we're glad to have you back, man. Let's see, you've been gone, what, uh, two weeks? Seems more like two months. Yeah, it's <laughs> good to see you again, man. It's good to see you guys and lady. Thank you. So, Rudy, give us a scoop. What's going on down there? Well, you know, it's a really nice theater. They've got 318 seats, so they're a little bit bigger than we are. Uh, they've got all new equipment, lights and board, and uh, their dressing rooms are right there on the same level as the stage. The green room's about twice the size of ours. What about the scene design area? They've got one of those, too. It's a good size. You know, we pretty much set up things down there exactly the way they are here. So what did Andy and Seth do? Well, they watched a bunch of auditions, and they picked out some cast members. The owner there is wanting to go with five actors, just like we've got here. And they were able to find two ladies and two guys, so Seth and Andy started working with them and seemed to gel with them really well. Um, Seth actually was helping me setting up the lights and did such a good job, the owner asked if he'd stay around to help them a little bit longer and ask Andy to do the same. So they talked to Mr. Wheeler and said it just seemed like the right thing to do for them to stay down there and help them out while we keep things going here. So just like that, they're both going to stay? Well, no, not necessarily. We don't know what they're going to do permanently, but right now they're just trying to get their first show off the ground. They go up this weekend. I can't believe Andy might not be coming back. Yeah, and Seth too, man. We just got used to him being around here. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, just give him a call later, talk to him. 
Oh, we will. Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, look, nobody's trying to cause any problems here. It's just that theater, they're on the ground floor, so they're glad to have any help they can get. And the owner is really grateful to have them down there helping a little bit longer. Well, when we call down there, we'll let them know how hard it's been doing these shows the last couple of weeks since they've been gone, and tell them they've got one week to get back up here. <laughs> is Mr. Wheeler troubled by all of this? You know, I don't think so. He said, it just seems like this is the way the Lord works sometimes. Things seem to be going great, and then sudden change comes along. Yeah, I understand that. God does things for his purposes, and we don't always understand what he's doing. You know, that's why we need to walk by faith and not by sight. But in the end, we'll see some good results. Well, Rudy, what are we supposed to do here? Well, I don't really want to think about it, but you know, we may need to look at some other talent to see about trying to fill their shoes. You got to be kidding. Just in case. We don't know what's going to happen long term, but we should be prepared. You know what this feels like to me? It feels like a high school basketball team that's losing two players to graduation. And we're the three returning players. But it seems like last year's team is better because of the missing players. You take Andy and Seth out of this starting lineup, that's two good players we just lost. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but just like Rudy said, we might need to start thinking about their replacements. Yeah, but where? I mean, where are we going to find a replacement for Andy? I have no idea. And for Seth. There again, I have no idea. Wait. I do. You do? Yeah. He could at least help out with a few scenes, at least till Seth comes back. If he comes back? So, who you got in mind? All right, I don't think I'm crazy. What about Chad? Chad, the waiter? Yeah. Chad Ryan, the waiter from Fifth Avenue Cafe. Yeah, again. I mean, Chad's a nice guy. We all know him. He's always talking about acting. He won't act full time. I think it'd be good. Has anyone ever seen him act? Well, now, I know he's done a couple of plays around town, but I've never seen him act. Well, neither have I. Well, that's because we're always here. Well, plus he's a Christian. He's always asking about the show, and he's seen our show a lot. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So I think we should at least read him. Well, it sounds like we should give him a shot. Why don't you guys go meet with him and see what he can do? Okay. We'll see him at lunch, so we'll set up something. Now, what do we do about Andy's spot? We don't need to worry about replacing Andy just yet. Why is that? Because I'm going to do the best acting job of my life and get her to come back here. <laughs> hey, Joanna. I heard we might be losing Seth and Andy. Who told you? Gates, Travis, or Kelly? All three of them. Yeah, they're not wild about losing them. Neither am I. We're like a family around here. I know, but hey, kids grow up, they leave the nest. Thanks, Rudy. You know what I mean. I know. Although, you know, they're still just thinking about it. It's not definite yet. I hope they don't leave. I hope so, too. I mean, they're being a big help down there getting that show started. Um, meanwhile, though, we need to move forward up here. Any suggestions? Well, I think before we start calling talent agencies, we want to see if we can find anybody we already know that can come on board. Gates and Travis had lunch with Chad, and he's interested. Yeah, he's coming in tomorrow to read for him. I hope you he can help. At least we already know him. I hope so, too. Now all we need to do is find somebody for Andy's spot. Well, Mom, I know this has been a long email, but I wanted to give you the full rundown. From what we can tell, Seth and Andy might be staying down in Florida and working with a new theater there, while the rest of us try to keep it going up here. If that's the case, we'll have to try and find somebody to replace both of them. And that's not going to be easy. It's really hard doing the show with just three people, so we'll have to solve this dilemma soon. We do have one guy coming in today that we all know, and hopefully that might work out. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. I love you, and I'll call you soon. John. Morning, Gates. Morning, Trav. You're here early. Well, I woke up early, so I decided to just come on in. What you doing? I just emailed my mom. It's her 79th birthday today, and I normally go over and be with her, but when all this come down with Andy and Seth, I decided to just stay here. Yeah, I hear you. You know, it's gonna be different around here without those two, especially Andy. Yeah, she's been here since we started. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Seth too. Yeah, I'm with you. But right now, we need some help. So I hope Chad works out. Well, at least for now. Yeah. I wrote something last night. I think we can use it this week. Well, that's good. Kelly wrote two new scenes yesterday. You know, that girl being fourth in her class can sure write and come up with some scenes, can't you? Yeah, if we lost Kelly, that'd be a big blow, because she writes a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, I'm glad she's staying. Yeah, me too. Okay, man. 
Onward, Christian soldier. <laughs> That's the same thing Kelly said yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, well, Andy, let me just say that as one of your best friends in the entire world, I really don't appreciate you leaving me here all alone. Yes, Gates and Travis are still here. <laughs> yeah, they're great. So, when are you coming back? Two weeks, ugh. That doesn't sound very convincing. We need you here. I need you here. Oh, come on, you know how hard it is to find the right actors for this show. I know, so get on a plane and come back up here. <laughs> I'm in the dressing room. No, nobody else is here. Well, what's wrong? What? Really? What's his name? Okay, Chad. Now that you've had the big tour of Sun Street Theater, uh, which took all of about two minutes, <laughs> <laughs> this is the main stage. This is where it all takes place, my friend, every Friday and Saturday night. And maybe, just maybe, instead of watching it from out there, millions of people. Millions? Okay, hundreds of people. <laughs> will get to see you do your thing from this end. Now, what do you think about that? I think just the chance to be on the same stage as you two guys? <laughs> well, could I have your autographs? <laughs> Okay, but first you must pass the John Gates and Travis Connors audition test. And let me tell you, my friend, that is no easy task. <laughs> Chad, don't listen to him. Look, from what we've seen you do just as our waiter, I know you're gonna get an A. I always knew all of my acting in front of you two would pay off one of these days. <laughs> you know, this could work out pretty well. You could keep your job as a waiter and come by and help us out some until Seth gets back. If Seth gets back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Seth likes our soup and salad special way too much. He gets it every time he comes over. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, so now you'll be able to come by every day after your lunch shift, right? Correct. That'll work. All right, let's get some scenes and try to do some reading. Okay. All right, let me ask you something, Chad. If this does work out and you can start here, does that mean that we will all get to have free food from the Fifth Avenue Cafe? You know, I'll tell you how you can get free food at the Fifth Avenue Cafe. How? Well, when you go in and order, just pay the price that's on the menu, and they'll give you your food for free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jed. Uh, this is going to be a scene that Seth did the last time he was here. So you just read yours there, and I'll say mine here. Look it over a moment, and we'll give it a shot. Sounds good. So, uh, what scene you got there? It's that convenience store scene, you know, where he came in and asked for directions. Oh, you see, we try to write new scenes every week, but for the past three weeks we've been so short-handed that we're doing what we call our greatest hits. I see. You ready to give it a shot? Sure, why not? All right, now you've already seen this set. This is the convenience store scene, so I'm gonna be on the other side of the counter when you come in. Okay. Hey, buddy. I need some directions. I am trying to get to the McAllen Center oh, downtown. Yes, I know of the place you are speaking. Well, how do I get there? Do I stay on this road all the way to Park Ave and take a left? Okay, Chad, um, are, 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 you, are you really acting or are you just pulling our leg? I'm pulling your leg. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I sure hope you were pulling our leg because if you were really acting, then you'd get an F. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just couldn't resist. Yeah, but you know what, Gates? We could always use some comedy in the show. We just have to find some actors who can be funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to try it again? Sure, why not? Right. Hey, buddy, can you give me some directions? I'm trying to get to the McAllen Center downtown. Yes, I know the place you are speaking. Well, how do I get there? Do I stay on this road all the way to Park Ave and take a left? No, no, if you take a left, you'll be going the wrong way. So I take a right. Thanks, buddy. No, you do not take a right either. Look, buddy, you just said it's not a left, so it must be a right. Okay, how are we coming on those new scenes? 
I think okay. Yeah. Gates and I have worked out the scene where he's the professor and I'm the college student. Good, because that's what I want to close with. Ooh, that would be good. Plus, we have our other scenes down too, Rudy, so we're okay. And what you guys have been able to do, just the three of you, is amazing. Rudy, like I told you, we've been amazed the past two weeks. And we got Chad to help us out next week if Seth isn't here. Oh, yeah, how did that go? It went well. Yeah, we read through a number of scenes. I think Chad's gonna do good. That's good to hear. So now all that's left is to find someone that can replace Andy, because I don't think she's coming back. Why do you say that? I have a feeling. Yeah, but why do you say that? I just have a feeling. Travis, you know how women are. They uh, have that feeling, and she's got that feeling. So, Kelly, why do you say that? Andy met someone. What? Yeah. Kelly, you're kidding me. No. I don't believe this. I thought she was done with guys. Oh, she was. Until she met someone. Who'd she meet? I think Rudy might be able to tell you more about that than I could. What's up, Rude? Yeah, Rude, I can't believe you didn't mention anything about this. I didn't know if there's anything to it or not. Look, one of the actors they brought in, I guess he and Andy really hit it off, and there's been some connection between them. But you didn't say anything about this earlier. Well, I just wanted to wait and see if it was going to develop or not. Oh, it's developing. So I don't think that we should count on her being back, at least for now. <laughs> How do you like that? I don't, because I want to miss Andy if she stays. Well, regardless, they're going to be down there at least another couple of weeks. We know that much. So we'll have to do with what we've got and uh, do the best we can. Yeah, we're with you, Rudy. Man, I cannot believe that. Yeah, neither can I. Well, here we are again. Just the three of us lining up. Yeah, I know. Well, Chad will be here next week, so that'll help. And the week after that, we'll have another female, so that'll help even more. Who? I don't know. Gates, where are we going to get another female to help? I don't know, Travis, but God does. He knows we need someone. Yeah, her name is Andy. I don't think that's going to happen. You think she really likes this guy? Yeah. Yeah, and she's going to stay there because of it. Maybe. Well, God will provide. He'll take care of us. One thing I can say for you, Gates, you are a man of faith. Well, I have to be. If God can help Travis remember his line on stage, then God can provide us the actors and actresses we need for the show. All right, y'all. You ready? About to go. Yeah. Oh, Miss Henderson, I'll see you in the last scene. Yes, Professor Johnson, you will. The Wheeler Theatrical Company presents the 7th Street Theater, featuring the talents of... Yes. Professor Johnson? Yes? May I speak with you for a moment? For a moment. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. You already have. What is it? It's about my grade, Professor. You made a mistake. Miss... Henderson. Miss Henderson. Your grade is your grade. Yes, Professor, but it's wrong. Ms. Henderson, do you know how many students at this university cheat? Answer the question. No, I don't. I've been here nearly 20 years, and I think that almost every student has tried cheating at one time or another. I'm not a cheater. They've gone to great lengths and tried every method of cheating to make their grades better. They've tried everything but the one thing that would bring them the best and most satisfying results, studying. Professor Johnson, I'm not a cheater. That's not why I'm here. I didn't say you were a cheater, Ms. Henderson, but they also come in here and try to get me to raise their grade. Since this is an essay-based course, they feel that I mark too hard. Well, I'm sorry. I mark the way I mark. Your grade stands. That is all. But, Professor. That is all, Miss Henderson. I can't leave until you change my grade. As I recall, 
You made a pretty good grade on that essay. It was an A minus, is that right? Yes, sir. Is that not good enough? Or do you think you deserve an A? Every student who gets an A minus thinks that they deserve an A. What did you write about? I wrote about a missionary pilot in New Guinea. Oh yes, I remember. You had some structural problems about midway through. Yes, sir. Your grades an A minus. Have a good day. But professor. Have a good day. You added up my grade wrong. It should only be a B plus. Do you have your paper with you? Yes, sir. May I see it? Yes, sir. Well, I stand corrected. And my math escaped me this one time. According to these deductions, this paper should have received a B plus. Yes, sir. And you came down here to actually have your great lord. Yes, sir. Why would you do that, Miss Henderson? Because I'm a Christian, and it's the right thing to do. Well, I'm not a Christian. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Thanks for your honesty. You're welcome. Professor, you changed my grade to an A, and it should only be a B plus. Your grade is your grade, Miss Henderson. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, Miss Henderson. Thank you.